Okay, let's do number four here. This is a farmer with 750 feet of fencing wants to enclose a rectangular area, then divide it into four pens with fencing parallel to one side of the rectangle. What is the largest possible total uh, area of the four pens here? So I have 750 feet of fencing. And I want to enclose a rectangular area, then divide it into four pens, right? So I have here, um, so I have to enclose a rectangular area and divide it into four pens with uh, fencing parallel to one side of the rectangle. So what is the possible, largest possible total area of the four pens? So again, if we're talking about area here, we want to maximize the amount of side lengths um, of our kind of enclosed, uh, enclosed quadrilateral. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually, instead of a rectangle, what we're going to do is we're going to make a square. So basically all of our four sides here are equal. So this would be X here and it's X here, right? And we have, again, uh, 750 feet of fencing. So in order for us to do this, Again, I would have I would have to have kind of a square here. And it says here I have to divide it into four pens with fencing parallel to one side of the rectangle. So it means that I'm gonna have to split it up either this way. So I'm gonna divide it up into four four uh four pens, right? So I have one, two, three, four, or I can divide it into uh one, two, three, four, like that. So I would need kind of um I need to build a pen with four compartments here. So again, I got four pens here, one, two, three, and four. So again, and this uh, this is in a shape of a square here, right? So it says, it says here, this is correct, right? So to build a pen with four, we need three identical vertical lengths here and three identical horizontal lengths. Uh, and these are all the same lengths as the side lengths, right? Because they're parallel to one side of the rectangle. So therefore we need six lengths um, of identical fencing, right? So that's correct. Because we need three vertical and three horizontal, right? Like kind of like this. So, so I have one, two, three, and then one, two, three going like down here as well. So if I have 750 feet of painting, again, I have six individual parts here. So I'm going to divide 750 by six here to get 125, I believe. Uh, 750 by six here is 125. Good. 125 feet here which is going to be parallel to the side length, right? Because if I know that this is 125 here, my X would equal 125 here. Because again, they're the same length for my sides, right? So if I have 125 feet uh, for one of the sides here, I can simply calculate the area, right? The area is simply uh, length times W for a square. Um, in this case, length and width are both the same, right? So it's 125 times 125 here, which would give me an answer of 1,565 or 15,625, sorry. And this is square feet. So this here is my correct answer here. And they have the correct answer as well. So this solution here is correct. This solution is correct. Good analysis.